You know, I think back at that performance on Saturday and I just look at the uh, many missed opportunities that we have. And, you know, you're down 17 to 3 and then we were able to battle back and get it to 17 to 13 at the half. Then it, right there at the start of four, you know, we give up a play there on defense. Now they're up 31 to 13. And then just to watch the resiliency of his football team and how we just kept coming back and just wish we could have made that third down stop. You know, knew they was going to, didn't know exactly what it was going to do. It was, you know, we was thinking about coming out with an all out blitz and hoping the ball would get, get out of the quarterback's hand quickly and just didn't want to give up a big play and just get the ball back for our offense. And what was really exciting is just to watch our offense because, you know, we sat there and you watch that game. It's like, wow, you know, you, you, wanted, you, you wanted our defense to get on the field, but also just because of the way our offense was moving the ball, you want to give them an opportunity to get out there and, and just uh, with Tyrone playing as well as he was playing and then the running backs and offensive line just continues to get better and better. Just, but we, have to, we know this in the special teams, we have to get much better. You can't give up a kickoff return after – Going up three to nothing and giving up a big uh, return on that kickoff return, that that just can't happen because I told our players it would be the momentum will swing. It will swing Oklahoma's way. It will swing our way. It will swing back and forth, and then at the end of the day, it would settle down. And then the guys that can make the play were going to make the plays. Uh, just to watch Tyrone, the, the way he played and how well he handled himself in the first. Uh, the big rivalry was was amazing just to watch up the yardage he put up and, and just how he just directed offense. And then you can see it. If he plays well, our offense is going to play well. And then on defense, just for us to go out and shut them, just completely shut them out the first half there. Didn't even play that many plays. And I told our guys at halftime, you, you have no reason to be tired. I think we may have played 14 snaps, but that was attributed to the way our offense held the football and drove the ball and, and just the way we drove it. But just very pleased at how hard we played. Could have very easily, uh, you know, kind of set back when it's 31 to 13. You could have said, hey, we, we have no chance, but 18 points down and just watch us come back. What level of concern do you have about the special teams? What needs to happen and what guys have to understand and, and the players have to understand that you don't take a playoff with special teams. And, and it's, you know, we have offense, you have defense, you have special teams, and that's not a time to take the playoff. It's a one game season now. So it's all about us playing. And, and we have to just look at it like this. It's Iowa State. And, and for us to have the performance against Oklahoma, there's no reason for us to have a letdown now against Iowa State. So we need to go, we need to come out. We need to play well. What keeps you guys motivated? Is it a bowl eligibility thing, or is it a different uh, inspiration for these guys? Well, I think now, Dennis, what has to keep us, it's still six games left to go play. So we need to end up this season the right way. So it's all about now just continue to play it out. And, and there's no need to give in because you still have six games left. You have a group of seniors that want to still leave out here the right way. So I think we still owe it to our seniors to make sure that this season happens the right way and, and get it done the right way for them.